good to see you. I have to yeah. say, it's a little bit weird seeing you because I saw the movie, and in the movie, you're a completely different guy, and now you're back to you as the guy. And uh, There's a I lot guess... more of me in the movie. Yeah, there is. Yeah. How, mu how much weight did you gain for that movie? 47. Oh, 47. 47. Was that the goal, or are you were hoping to get to 50 and were unable to make it? <laughs> or did you exceed your goal? <laughs> <laughs> I started out, and I didn't even plan on gaining the weight, and I started living a life like Kenny Wells, and looked up in the mirror one day and was like, these pants don't fit anymore. And I was about 18 plus, and I was like, well, this is the way we're going, and got to 47. When plus. you do that, do you feel like you have to explain to everyone everywhere you go that, like, uh, this is for a movie? Because... It, 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 well, the family sees it happen gradually, so they just notice there's more Popeye to love, you know, right. as we go. <laughs> strangers, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get uh, that many strangers that were like, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> um, yeah, they probably kept that inside. Maybe. Do you, was it hard not being beautiful at all? I mean, was it... Do you know how much fun it was for six months to say, you have one rule, McConaughey, any desire, you must say yes. And if you think twice about it, you must have double. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I, th I kind of have that without the movie as the goal in general. Yeah, you well, do. Yeah, so you got to figure it out. Yeah, well, no, I, you know, when I get, you know, I can be very, um, I can be very regimented. But then, if I'm left alone at midnight in the yes. kitchen, God help us all. I had I six months everything. of midnight in the kitchen. Six months of midnight Anytime, in the kitchen. Anytime, pizza night in our household is every Friday night. For the six months doing this film, Pizza Night was Tuesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, <laughs> Saturday. If you wanted to go bowling or to the carnival on a school night at midnight, I was saying, great idea. No problem. Oh, boy, the kids must be wanting you to do a sequel to this they movie. Mi they miss Kenny Well. <laughs> yeah. I promise you. You took the kids with you to Th I know the movie's set in Indonesia, but yeah. you shot in Thailand. Yeah. And you brought a photograph that I... Maybe you should explain it a little bit before I show it, because it's... Well, Crazy. Thailand's quite wild, uh -huh. and we were shooting in the jungles, and so in our off days, besides seeing many temples and traveling around and taking midnight walks through the jungle, we went and saw the many different wild animals that they have uh, around there. And in this instance, there was a snake pit. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> with the <t> <laughs> And this is... Uh, this is... That's a, three cobras. That's a snake pit, that's a, a carpeted snake pit. snake pit, which I didn't expect. Yeah, it's a nice, nice plush snake pit. Well, what was the decision when you decided not to wear shoes into the snake pit? I wanted to make sure I was at my quickest. <laughs> you know? um, Why would you do this? You know, it seemed like a great idea at the time. <laughs> I was looking for a buzz, and uh, Look at I the, felt looking. pretty secure when I was in there. What I didn't feel as secure is once I got out and found out how the, the, the true handlers that are there, they have all, I said, what's that scar from? Oh, that is bite. What's that scar from? Oh, that is bite. And, um, and, and the guy, there's a guy on a microphone who's sort of leading like a DJ, like a DJ dance while the guys are out there dancing with the, oh, uh, really? the Cobras. And I was like, so what's your, what's, your, what's your bit of advice now that I'm out? He was like, breathe slowly. And I go, what do you mean breathe slowly? He goes, if you get bit, breathe slowly. The blood moves slower. Therefore, you die later. <laughs> Like, great post advice. <laughs> One of the guys who was in there, true story, the two, two young cats, the Thai cats, that when they're dancing with them, um, had on very tight T-shirts. And one of the cobras struck, and you saw his T-shirt get pulled off his chest. While you were so there? fanged his chest. Because, and, I mean, everyone stopped. And they did have a full check-in on, like, did it, he walked out. Everyone got very serious. He checked, wasn't hit, got back in. I'm glad all this happened after I got in there. Yeah, no kidding. You know. <laughs> no kidding. Do you feel like you have to go do it because everybody knows who you are and it's like, uh, I got to be the guy that does it? Or do you want to do it? No. What do no. You mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm in Thailand. I'm trying right. to imagine why one would get into a pit with cobras. That's all. It was a hell of a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below and good things will happen forever.